Hi, I'm Dr. Plalapo. Do you know that you do not need to put up with static electricity problems in plastic molding plants? They can be solved by electrical neutralization. I'm sure you know about static electricity, but let's take a look anyway. You get a shock when you touch a doorknob, your plastic wrap sticks together. These phenomena are caused by static electricity. Static electricity is generated everywhere, even though we might not notice. Do you know how? Everything on Earth is always either positively or negatively charged, even us humans. This object has the same number of positive and negative charges, so it's electrically neutral. But it's easy to upset that balance. If two objects come into contact, negative charges move to the stronger side. When negative charges are lost, you have greater positive charge. When negative charges are gained, you have greater negative charge. When the number of negative and positive charges is unbalanced, you get static electricity. Static electricity is generated when two objects come into contact, rub against each other, or are separated. Some objects attract positive charges, and some attract negative charges. This shows the effect of static electricity on the human body. Even a minute charge can cause problems at a manufacturing plant. When an object has three kilovolts or more of electric current, the possibility of problems occurring increases. Now, let's look at some of the problems that occur in a plastic molding plant. I'll also tell you how to solve them. This is the plastic molding process. I'll point out where static electricity can occur and the problems it causes. Material contact, impact, and friction cause static electricity, which attracts foreign objects such as dust floating in the air. When blending materials and master batches, static electricity caused by contact, impact, and friction can make it difficult to properly feed materials. The impact and friction while conveying can cause the materials to turn to powder, which can get stuck in the hopper due to static electricity. This will affect the mixing ratio for the next process. The stuck powder can also form lumps, which can drop into the materials at any time. Electrical neutralization is an effective way of controlling ESD, or electrostatic discharge, in the molding process. Electrical neutralization means correcting the imbalance by applying the appropriate ions to the surface of a positively or negatively charged object. 
Matsui uses either an ionizer or a line of electric for static eliminator to achieve this. An ionizer produces positively and negatively charged ions on the tips of needle electrodes and blows them over the surface to neutralize the electrical charge. For example, installing an ionizer in the middle of a conveying pipe will electrically neutralize the passing materials. This will prevent material from becoming stuck inside the hopper, which means no more sensor errors, inaccurate dispersity, and no more defects. A line of electric force static eliminator uses Coulomb's force and suppresses static electricity problems using electrical lines of force. Coulomb's force is the phenomenon that causes positively charged objects to attract negatively charged objects and objects with the same charge to repel each other. A static eliminator emits ions on electrical lines of force which neutralize oppositely charged ions when they encounter them. This type of static eliminator can be installed at any stage of the plastic molding process. For example, if a static eliminator is placed in a material blender, it will prevent contamination, separation when blending master batches, and reduce molding defects and uneven colors. Air is not used, so no dust is generated, making effective electrical neutralization possible. They are also used in the mold release process and in clean rooms to prevent contamination by foreign objects. To effectively control ESD in plastic molding plants, it is important to select an electrical neutralization unit that is appropriate for your needs and the degree of static electricity. Reducing molding defects will improve productivity and create added value. Ask Matsui about the solutions today.